Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jocelyn, and today we are going to be talking about why I decided to major in computer science. For a little bit of background on me before we dive in, I am about to graduate from MIT, and so at MIT we call our majors courses, and I am course 614, which is computer science, economics, and data science all bundled into one major. And so I decided what I wanted to do is kind of split the why my major video into two parts, computer science and then econ data science, because I feel like those two parts are very separate in a lot of the curriculum I took, and then there's also a lot of pros and cons. So today I'm going to be talking specifically about why I decided to major in computer science, which is my favorite of the two sides. And then next week you can tune in and see why I also decided to add the 14 part onto my major, which is economics and data science. And before we dive in, if you're new here, make sure you're liking this video and subscribing to the channel for more of that content. So my deciding major path was kind of interesting, I guess, because coming into MIT, I said that I wanted to be a finance major. So MIT had the business department and it has like three business ma courses, major options in the business department. And that's like management, business analytics, and finance. And coming into MIT, I decided I thought I wanted to do finance, but we don't have to declare a major quite yet. So that was just kind of my assumption going in. I was like, oh, finance will be fun. Like, I think I enjoy like looking at numbers. I don't know, for some reason, business always held and appealed me. Some of the other schools that I was looking at were purely business schools. I did my first semester at MIT, still thought I was gonna do business. And over our winter activities period, which is just a month where you can take smaller classes. I got convinced by one of my friends to take a computer science class, which is for those of you wondering who want to sign up for it for this IEP. It used to be called 6SOED, but it's now called 6145. Sign up, great class, changed my life. I signed up for that class and fell in love with coding. So I had coded a little bit in high school, like I took a semester course on Python, so I knew a little bit about it already. But when I was thinking about careers, I didn't really want to follow that path. But then over IEP, which is our winter activity period, I just absolutely loved doing this. And I found out that I was really good at it. And so that like kind of made my love for it grow more. And then I was like, oh my goodness, what is this gonna mean for my major? Because a finance major doesn't code. The next semester I took 600, which is the intro programming classes. I think nowadays they're called 6001 and 6002 separately, but I took them together as one class. So I took that class my second semester instead of any humanities classes, and I still continued to love coding that entire semester. And so that made me realize that what I wanted to do with my life was code, but I was still kind of hung up on the business thing, I guess. I'm pretty stubborn, I guess you could say. When I decide I want to do something, like I will stick that out and I will do it, whether or not I decide halfway that I don't want to do it anymore or not. I mean, look at this YouTube channel, me with my like 200 subscribers in two years, still going strong, like same thing, same deal. So despite knowing that I wanted to code, I ended up declaring 15-3, which is finance, and going home for the summer, because I did that right at the very end of the year. And it took me about, one week of being home to be like, oh no, I kind of want to be 15 too, which is business analytics. Business analytics combines a little bit more of coding and it's kind of the more data science-y thing that you can do while still being in the business department, the Sloan department. Sloan is the name of our business school. But basically in order to switch your major, you had to fill out all these forms. It seemed really high effort. You had to talk to your major advisor and I didn't even have one yet because they don't assign them to halfway through the summer. I waited like a month or two and during that time, I started realizing more and more that computer science is actually something that I really love to do. So I started looking at the majors again and started looking at all of the course six majors. And now course six is what we call our computer science department at MIT. And there was this major that was pretty new at the time. So no one had even graduated with this major yet. And it was 614, which is computer science, economics, and data science. I decided that's what I was gonna do because it took a lot of the business, but put way more of an emphasis on computer science than 15.2 did. And so since computer science was genuinely the thing that I loved, I decided that that's what I should do. And then I wasn't really giving up on my business dreams because at that point I still thought there was a chance that I'd want to pivot into business. So I thought that 614 would give me a lot of that flexibility in order to do so. 
So the number one reason, and this is the reason a lot of people talk about when they decide to major in computer science, is I love how much of a problem solving major it is. So obviously going to MIT, a lot of my friends are classic engineers doing engineering type things. And one thing that they all really focus on is the problem solving aspect of trying to figure out how to build this new thing. Well, I think that that element is also really, really, really present in computer science. No matter what you're doing, what you're building, you're creating this code, you have to try and figure out how to make the code work, and you're given very open-ended problems, both in the real world and at school, that you're going to be forced to try and solve and figure out. One thing that I notice in a lot of more classical majors that are like classical school type subjects is that they're the right and the wrong. And growing up, I've always really hated this right and wrong mindset because I enjoy figuring out how to solve a problem my way. As long as it gets done, I feel like that should be okay and it's not in a lot of majors. In computer science, you're very much encouraged to figure out the best way to do things on your own and to solve the problem any way you want to and there's all these different types of problems that you can possibly solve. Every single little problem, even if you're only writing three lines of code, it's a problem that you need to solve and I think that's a really exciting way to go about solving it and that freedom in order to apply your problem solving abilities is really exciting. Second reason I love computer science is that no matter how far along in your career you are, there's always a new skill for you to be learning. So I'm sure you guys know there's so many different programming languages out there and there's so many different ways to be coding, whether it's front end, back end, um, HTML, Java, C++, Python, anything out there, SQL even. Like there's just so many different options and they're always coming out with newer, better ways to code. And personally, I really love that. I think I'm a really fast learner and I really enjoy learning new things. The intro to a new subject is always the most exciting for me. And so something that I really love about computer science is that A, even if you're sticking with the same language, you can always be getting better at it and learning new things about it. And B, if you feel like you're a master of that language, you can move on and learn a new language. And then that's a completely new skill that you can market yourself on. Personally, I feel like every single new language is like a whole different world that I'm entering and that allows me to stay interested and continue wanting to learn more even when I'm just sitting at my desk doing work like that all day because it's also different. Another thing I really enjoy about my personal major and something that I didn't even think about when choosing a major but after being at MIT for a couple of years I started really really loving about it is that computer science is so applied and hands-on. And that again is something that you would never really think when you're choosing computer science to describe it as hands-on, but everything we do in class is directly applicable to like real life. Like you're learning real projects, you're doing real things. Even when we're learning the theory of computer science, it's such an applied theory because you do specific examples of everything. Even when I'm doing theory, like learning like Dijkstra's algorithm, graph cycles, things like that, they're the direct problem that I'm trying to solve and it really ties into real world things and they make sure that you're understanding the real world applications and seeing where you could use this in real life. And for me, the having that real world emphasis changes the game for me. It makes me want to learn it so much more. It makes me care more about what I'm learning and I can learn it quicker because I can relate it to real world examples and put it into play. That just means that your schooling is going to be a lot more applicable to your job because you already understand how to use these theoretical things in practice. The next thing that I want to talk about is something that I don't think I truly appreciated until this year, year and a half or so, when all of my friends are like searching for jobs and don't even know what to type in to the like search bar in order to find a job that they can apply to, is that majoring in computer science had a very clear pathway and a very clear like word that you type in. Like if you major in computer science, it's probably because you're looking for a job as a software engineer. And just knowing kind of exactly what the pathway was, and yes, obviously, from being a starter software engineer, there's so many different paths you can go. You can go management, you can become a senior software engineer, but knowing exactly what I'm looking for right outside of college has been huge for me because I know I wanna code, but if I didn't really have that clear pathway, I'd be so much more lost than I am. Going along with that, I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea that computer science is one job and one thing that you're going to be doing no matter where you go. Another thing that I love about computer science is the versatility, which sounds contradictory, but it's not. You can be a software engineer at any number of different companies and have a completely different job description, a completely different work environment, and 
learning completely new skills. So this is most obviously present in whether you want to be a front end engineer who works on like HTML and CSS and like designs the look of the page or a back end engineer who kind of works behind the scenes and gets all like the data frame and like the structure of the thing working. But also it's just in the companies that you can work in because you can work in a company that's purely based on coding such as Google or Facebook or like any of those type of things. Or you can work in a company where you are a software engineer in a larger team. So for example, after my sophomore year, I was an intern at at and and I actually worked in the business department and I was working on code for them and working on those type of things that made me a software engineer, but I was still directly ingrained in the business department. I was one of only like two people on my whole team who actually knew how to code. So if that's something you're looking for and you don't really want to be in a super techie environment, it's still super possible for you to do with computer science and kind of ingrain yourself in whatever team that you want to do while still following your passion of computer science. So the final reason that I'm going to share with you that I decided to major in computer science is arguably the very most important and it's just because I love it and I have a lot of fun coding. And so I think regardless of what your major is, you do want to try and find something that is somewhat fun to you or that you're passionate about. Because I know obviously like school, probably for a lot of you, is not the most fun thing in the entire world. But if you are doing something that you love, even if it's just like, oh, I love, I hate school, but like I love like actually coding, like doing these side projects type thing. Like that's how I feel that is going to eventually carry over to your classes and lead you to doing better in your classes A and B, finding a job that you like more. And now, here I am. And still love computer science the most. I regret not being just a computer science major a little bit, but there's definitely pros, which I'll talk about next week, to having the econ component attached to my major. That like joy that computer science brought me which like is ending up being the reason that I switched to computer science is 100% what you need to find no matter what major you do. Don't be stubborn just because the major you went in on. Don't be stubborn just because like you don't want to have to fill out the forms to switch your major or like maybe you're going to have to take an extra class because finding that joy, even if it's not necessarily early enough to apply right away, will really, really help you in the long run. Yeah, so I guess that just about sums up all of the reasons that I am a 614 major and decided to study computer science in college and why my future career is going to be as a software engineer. And it's because I love to code, mostly. But also the reasons that I love to code are because of all those other reasons that I listed, the appliedness, the problem solving, everything. So hopefully, if you were considering computer science, this convinced you. And if it hasn't yet, and you have more questions, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to answer them for you. If you guys made it this far in the video and haven't already, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel to find out why I am majoring in econ and data science next week. And yeah, see you next week. Bye.